Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, we will see how to use a strcpy function in a C programming. So, strcpy function is basically used to copy a string from one character array to another character array. That means, with the help of this strcpy function, we can copy a string from one array to another array. So, here we have to give strcpy and inside the brackets, we have to specify the target and we have to specify the source also. And after completion of this function, the source string will get copied into the target string. So let's see how to use this. So first of all, we need one character array containing some string. So I am using char. And here my character array name is array1 is equal to abcd is my string. Now we need one second target array. So here I am giving name array2 and here we have to keep this array2 blank because we want to copy this abcd into this blank space. So just keep it blank and here we have to mention the size because here we are going to keep this blank. So here we have to mention the size I am giving 20. Now first of all let's print the string from array1 and array2. So just use printf and the array1 is equal to percentage s give a reference of array1 and again use a printf here we have to give a reference of array2 now first of all build and run the code to see the output and here as you can see the output is the array1 is equal to abcd because here we have given a string abcd and the array2 is equal to null. So this is why because here we have not given any string to the array2. Now let's use the strcpy function to copy this abcd to the array2. So here we have to use strcpy which means string copy and here we have to give the parameters first of all we have to give a target that means array2 and we have to give a comma and after that we have to specify the source so here a source is array1 like this and after execution of this function the abcd that means the array1 string will get copied into the array2 string so Let's print this array2 to see the output. So here we have to use printf again. And here we have to give a reference of this array2. So just to give the reference of array2 like this. Now our code is ready. So after execution of this function, the array one string that means ABCD will get copied into the array two. So build and run the code to see the output. And here as you can see, the output is the array one is equal to ABCD, which is the output of this first printf statement. And the second line is the array two is equal to null, which is the output of this second printf statement. And after that we have just executed our strcpy function so after that the third line is after strcpy the array 2 is equal to abcd that means this abcd from array 1 is get copied into the array 2 now here with the help of this strcpy we have copied the whole string from one character array to another character array now suppose if you want to copy this some character that means if you want to copy these first two character that means a b from array 1 to array 2 then we have to use a variation of this strcpy function so let's see how to use this so here i am just commenting this now here we have to just use str n cpy and inside the brackets we have to pass the target or we have to pass the array 2 like this and here we have to give comma and we have to specify the source that means array1 
and again we have to give the comma and here we have to pass a number that we want to copy the characters from array 1 to array 2 so here if you want to copy the ab from array 1 to array 2 then we have to specify 2 like this now let's use printf statement to print the array 2 so just use printf and give a message now here we have to give a reference of array 2 like this now let's build and run the code to see the output and here as you can see the output is after strn cpy array 2 is ab so this is why because we have copied this ab from array 1 to array 2 so in this way we can copy a string from one character array to another character array and in this video we learn how to use a str cpy function and str ncpy function now in this video we learn to copy the string and in the next video we will see the next part